Spanish media. Let's look at your news headlines. Of course, you'll get more news tonight on A News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Now, the film cynics standing by with Astrid Braunschmidt. Here they are. If you've uh, checked out their website, oh, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> now they're revealed. Checked out their website, you've seen Brian Dukowicz and Steve Johnston on there. And uh, just before we start talking about DVDs, though, I have to ask you, um, Brian, you look fantastic. <laughs> exactly as expected from your reviews on the website. But you're not wearing the Superman shirt, Steve. Well, I'm wearing, see, I'm wearing Batman today. Batman. It's got to be. I wear I wear a superhero shirt for every time we do a review. This is Brian's outfit. He, he chose this. He's got to stick with this. This this was my <laughs> ensemble. I went with. I'm sticking with this. I, I can have a little bit of stubble going on. It's nice. It's very nice. I'm a little jealous. This was really good the first day. I was like, oh man, I look so good. But then I was like, I hate wearing a tie. And so now every time I go on, I have to wear a tie. And I'm just like. Well, you did that to yourself, Brian. I know. Uh, anyway, okay, so we're not really here to talk about uh, fashion. Although this might be good if you want to watch a DVD, rent a DVD, then you can, you know, wear those outfits, maybe get a, a better response from the guys at the, at the store. But you have a great website where you review all sorts of great films. Uh, most recently, I guess you just put up a review about Walk Hard. So let's talk about that one and what it's about and what you think. Walk Hard is... Uh it's a send-up of biopic movies all about musicians. So, say, like, I mean, really sort of sad movies about, say, Ray Charles or Johnny Cash, and it turns it into more of a spoof kind of comedy. And uh, it stars John C. Riley, who I guess he puts the C in comedy, uh, <laughs> I suppose. And, Famous and for many, many He's sort of the films. background com comedic guy. He's, and he's done some serious, some comedic. He was in The Aviator. He was in, uh, what else was he serious in? Yeah, yeah and Magnolia. Those are sort of serious. Oh, yeah. And then he's been in just about everything that yeah. Judd Apatow has done, I think. And he was just in Step Brothers with Will Ferrell this summer, which was pretty funny. That's a, uh, that one is one I definitely need to rent. Step Brothers? I really, yeah, I really want to see that one. I loved it. Was it good? Oh, yeah. See, now, these are the guys you need to ask about DVD rentals. Oh, you didn't like it. <laughs> oh, You're I, sitting here going, oh. I have, I have, I have no... I have he no didn't one. like Walk Hard. I really liked Walk Hard. But well, I really like it. I liked it more than he did. There's one thing you both agree on, though, when it comes to Walk Hard. You both agree that there was a waste of comedic talent. Yeah. Yes. Speak to that. Well, my opinion about that was they got a lot of the greatest like sketch comedians that are working in television today in this movie, or a lot of great improvisers, and then they didn't let them do anything. <laughs> so you're watching this movie like, oh, I know that guy from Upright Citizens Brigade, or I know that guy from SNL, and they just said some boring one-joke line that wasn't even that funny. And you're like, what? You're a lot funnier than that. Yeah, I, you know, yeah like, like I think one of the standout performances was Justin Long as George Harrison, but I, he said like maybe three words. So that's sort of an indication of the kind of uh, time that everybody had doing this stuff. I, I didn't even notice Jack Black was in it. Yeah, Jack Black was oh. in Paul McCartney. Yeah. <laughs> so would you recommend renting it though and watching it? I did because I'm a big fan of the. I like the kind of mockumentary sort of making fun of genre movies. And I like Judd Apatow, so I was like, yeah, it made, it made me laugh. And the music is really good in the movie. Like, the, the jokes are in the songs. So if you listen to the songs, they're funny. It made me laugh. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm with you on a lot of those things. Like, the joke, the, the songs were very funny. Like, I, I, I believe there was uh, some Oscar talk about some of the ways that things were written. However, I just, for the kind of movies that they were make funny, making fun of, like, such as the, the Life of Ray Charles and the Life of Johnny Cash, really sad things. So it's kind of this morbid comedy that I, it just didn't sit well with me. Uh, another film that you reviewed recently is Intelligence. Uh, no, Intelligence is probably, it's, a, it's actually a TV series. Um, it is, I would consider, the cleverest crime drama on Canadian TV ever. Yeah. Uh, except it's not on Canadian TV anymore. It was cancelled last season by CBC. Uh, it's available on DVD right now. Uh, there, there, I think it was 12 episodes a season. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's really, really clever. It's, it's directed by, written, directed, and produced by Chris Haddock, the, the, the man who brought everybody Da Vinci's Inquest and Da Vinci City Hall. He's got a real great insight onto the, the, the ins and outs of Vancouver. Lots of things that you might see and recognize from, from Vancouver. Which is actually my, but the thing I loved about the show, the thing I hated about the show, is that I knew everything. So you're watching the show, you're like, oh, I've been there. That's my coffee shop. That's my favorite restaurant. But then it takes you out of the show. So it took me about four episodes of watching it to actually get past all that and be like, okay, they're on Richard Street, you know, I get it. And the show's really smart. It's all about CSIS and the RCMP and organized crime and drug dealers, but from a Canadian perspective, so it's really, really good. Yeah, there's a real duality to the show as far as it's, it, it shows two sides. One side is the organized crime unit, the other side is an actual organized crime family and how they interrelate and they have deals with each other. And so both are working together, but they're also stabbing each other in the back. 
about it. See, now these are the guys to ask when you need to choose a DVD because they can go on and on and on about these films. <laughs> they have great opinions. Uh, their website, thefilmcynics.com, and uh, you can check out some of their giveaways on the website as well. Hey, thanks, Brian and Steve, for coming in. Thanks for having we'll, us. We'll see you again soon, I hope. Right, There's lots more to, to come here on A Morning. Stay with us. It's a beautiful morning.